Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Oh, topic of the message is, you know, the reality. It's day of Pentecost day when the Holy Ghost came down when and got them in one accord and came down on one accord. Not many cores. But that's not the message. But God taught me about the position of Jesus. And, you know, uh, the thing is, the topic of the uh, message is, is the reality of being, let me see, the man of God in the middle. You know, the man of God in the middle. You know what I'm saying? And you say, what is the man of God in the middle? Well, the man of God in the middle. See, what people don't understand, I, I, I teach this before, that Jesus was ministering against in the middle forces of his time. You know what I'm saying? He was ministering against the scribes and Pharisees, the religious people. And he was ministering against the Roman system. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, getting in the middle, more likely, of things, if I can use that uh, expression, that what happens is you, um, uh, as Jesus showed us, is get in trouble. Um, even Jesus was getting in trouble amongst his own people concerning who he is, you know. I um, mean, he got in trouble when he said, you know, before... Uh, before Abram, him, I am, you know, Jesus got in trouble with people and they wanted to attack Jesus to dare to think that he, you know, is, you know, was before Abraham, you know, and the thing is, uh, when you, when you all about the truth, you all about getting in the middle of things, you know, you, you, you about Getting you all about finding the truth. I found out, you know, when you're in the middle, you find yourself uh, in the truth. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to help people see the truth of the reality of everything. And the problem is people don't like the The middle is a place where you're not going to get any fans. <laughs> uh, you will probably uh, you will probably get people that. What's going on? See, what's going on? What he doing? What what's going on? Why are you trying to do? You know, people instigate, you know, instigating what he's what you know you're doing, but you're not gonna get people to really follow uh the direction of the middle, you know, because the middle of things, you know, that Jesus placed himself in the middle of, you know, uh like I did a message about the middle of two Jesus was in between two thieves and the thing is what people but what what God showed me you know or what revealed to me about those thieves were placed there you know what I'm saying and they were placed there to for people for the Roman system and the religious system the scribes and Pharisees to see themselves you know what I'm saying that they are thieves and and the reason what it makes them thieves is they're trying to be people that are trying to steal the glory of God from the people. You know, they're trying to be glorified. Whatever, you know, they're trying to glorify to get the power of influence from people. And they're trying to steal that attention of being seen as God, as God's more likely. Um that's what the, that's what the two thieves were for. One thief was for the scribes and Pharisees. One other one is for the uh, Roman system. You know what I'm saying? Stealing the image of power. You know what I'm saying? You're but it's they are lie because they're not the image of power. Of course, the only power that exists in the universe is the power of God. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, people don't understand that you know these forces these system of forces are trying to you know uh get still the image of influential power from everybody so everybody can recognize them as their power and the only way they can have the ability of getting anything in life is because of these systems and the thing is you know uh it's been going on for so long so you know 
people are like, oh, I got to get this success from school and uh, this job and uh, this, you know, uh, this career, this uh, doing sports or doing this, you know, all kind of things you can do to be placed in a position of power of of receiving money, you know, income and or prestige or of thinking being a famous this and a famous that. You know what I'm saying? There's all kind of sources in the world system that uh, is trying to get people to fall into that system. And of course, in church, you know what I'm saying? Becoming the big time preacher or the big time teacher or the big time uh, whatever is what the system is all about doing. And the uh, in, in the big time church, the big time, you know, little churches and big churches and who churches get the big time, you know, is that image of power that, you know, wants to be seen as power for the sake of sharing for God's sake, because it's just simple. You know, First Corinthians, uh, I believe, one in somewhere 31, I believe, you know, we're, it, no flesh cannot get glory. No flesh. No flesh, no flesh can get the glory from God. God is all power. God is almighty. God is in control of everything. God is in control of the universe, the absolute universe. You are not, you are trying to control a little speck in God's, in speck in a speck, really, you know, when you're talking about God range. Um, thing is, and that's the foolish trick that uh, Satan is trying to get people to believe in, you know, to believe in his trick, you know, and, but, but in order for you to truly be about God, you got to get in the middle and, or more likely you got to get stuck in a hard place. You got to have two forces are going to not like you, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of people ain't going to like you, you know what I'm saying? Like they didn't like Jesus, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, uh, you got to be that uh, unpopular person. As Jesus got stuck in the middle, that got him, end up got him crucified, you know what I'm saying? End up got him portrayed. When you get in this middle, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to have no friends. As you know, you see the disciples dipped on them, you know what I'm saying? You People going to dip on you. You know what I'm saying? This middle that, you know, God desires people to get to, to truly get closer to God, uh, is the middle is what Jesus is trying to, because the Bible says he's the way, the truth, and the life. And the thing is, when you're the way, the truth, you know what I'm saying, and the life, you know what I'm saying, you, first of all, liars ain't going to like you. You know what I'm saying? You see that the scribes and Pharisees and the Roman soldiers you know what I'm saying? One of Jesus killed, you know, liars ain't going to like you. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you got to accept that reality that you're not going to be light in a temporal uh, world system. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, the only way you're going to truly be light, loved by a God of love, the God that is love, the, the God in heaven, you know, is the only way you can truly uh, find true love. Uh, that is love that is going to give you something that is going to last forever you know this world only has temporal gain you know what I'm saying give you a true treasure love will give you a true treasure you know and the thing is uh, you gotta uh, you have to so in stay the middle in order for you to uh, uh, you know be in this position but God will be your strength. You have to be still and know that he is God and and be still in the middle of things in spite of what's going on in a system of lies and how much people are believing lies and how much people are going this way. You have to be still and know that he is God in the middle of things and God will show up and show out and will proclaim what is true and show, reveal what is false. Is what God desire us to do in things. But if we do not understand that, you know what I'm saying, we will find ourselves, you know, yielding to the lies of this world system and all the, you know, 
the evil, the two evils that around us. Well, the three evils. There's two evils. It's the Rome, is uh, the religious system, and it's the Roman system, and it's the people that are, you know, uh, uh, just uh, watching it and allowing this system to continually go in and not, you know, presenting the uh, false, you know, re reality of it. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, you have to, God will give you the ability to, when you seek after the and hunger and thirst after the righteousness or the fruit of righteousness or the righteous, the fruit of the spirit, you know, love, joy, peace, gentleness, gentleness, long suffering, meekness, temperance, faith is what uh, going to take. That's what it's going to take to stand in the middle, become a man or a woman of God in the middle of things. But understand the stipulations. You're not going to be liked by people and people are not going to like you in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thing is, you got to understand that, you know, uh, that God is with you. That's what it's all about. It's all about Joshua uh, 1 and 8, 9. You know what I'm saying? That he is with you. You know, the Lord thy God will be not afraid, be not dismayed, but the Lord thy God is with you all the way. All the way when you're in the middle of things, he is with you. You're not going to, you're going to be alone as Jesus was. But God is with you. That's what it's all supposed to matter. You know what I'm saying? And that's why David can say, Yea, do I walk in the valley of the shadow of death? I won't fear no evil because thou art with me. I won't fear people. I won't fear people that are operating a system that is all about taking power away from people to being glorified and be worshipped by the, uh, the eyes of men. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about worshipping the one true God the, uh, that controls the universe, that's created, that created me. I mean, shouldn't I be worshiping the creator that gave me life, that his life only can flow through him? Should be the number one person that's supposed to get all the honor, all the glory, all the majesty, all of everything forever and ever and ever? Yeah, that's supposed to be. But people want to be, you know, the lie side, I call it, uh, the lying sides. But I, you know, by the grace of God, God talk, put me in the middle of things. Uh, I'm getting enemies, you know, not just by people saying negative me. It's by their actions. You know, people don't really want to associate themselves with me. You know what I'm saying? You get you get stuff like that. But, you know, God is with you. That's one of the, and, that, and God is my joy. Men are not my joy. You know, people are not my joy. God is my joy. And the joy of the Lord is my strength that keeps on me going and going again and again. All right, that's the topic of the message. I hope you become a man or a woman of God in the middle to stand for the truth. Because, of course, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And God is all about people that worship him and worship him in spirit and truth. And be in the middle of truth and stand for your creator no matter of all the haters. All right, that's the message. God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.